there is evil in all of us. Hey guys, this is Camille, and this is a short video uh, of what I mentioned in another video that I just made, is that there is evil in each of us. A, bit of, a little bit of you in me, and maybe quite a lot in you, I don't know. But in some of us there is more evil than in others. However, what we need to learn is a few things from this. First of all, everybody is a little, at least a little bit evil. We all have traits of other people. If we criticize someone, we probably have the same traits, but we display them in a different situations, in, 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 a, in a kind of a different way. So we don't notice that, but when others uh, do that, we criticize them. So that's one thing to remember. Second thing, if, if you observe something that's evil, like really, really evil, well, obviously you need to react to that in whatever way you choose to, according to your beliefs, but remember that there always must be some evil in the world. That's how it is um, designed, you know, there must be always cold and hot and there must be good and evil. It's, it's in, unavoidable, we need to have them together. So it's better to, to have some evil and, and control it than uh, not to control the evil and let it run loose, you know. Um, 20-80%, uh, sorry, 20-80% uh, rule or, or Pareto principle is also called. Uh, there was this Italian uh, guy called uh, Pareto. I can't remember his first name. Uh, just slipped my mind. Doesn't matter. Twenty eighty principle. Eighty percent of people will be fairly good. Twenty percent of people will be a little bit evil, much more evil than the other eighty percent. And out of those twenty percent. 20 and other percent will be really evil and 20 percent will be like completely evil. For example, roughly, you know, um, so what you need to do if you see someone evil, think about this. Thank God that he is evil, not this guy, because if this guy was really evil, then we would be in trouble. And thank God I'm not evil that he is. Oh, thank you very much. And you know what, if you remove the evil guy, someone else will take his place or her place in case of a woman, you know. So don't be too quick to remove the evil and we we see the examples for example Iraq you know the the American army went to Iraq removed Saddam Hussein because he was the evil guy the tyrant and what happened after he was removed more people actually died in 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 um, various fightings assassinations bombs exploding in markets places than than during the reign of uh, Saddam Hussein so you know there is never really evil um as as bad as we think there is, you know, um, and obviously if we see some really horrific things like people murdering other people, we have to react because that's our human nature, we have this emotional response, but let's remember about how we react and remove the evil, because maybe that evil is, is necessary for certain reasons, like in Iraq, you know, Saddam was there, he was actually keeping other guys under control, and when Saddam was gone, all the other guys, you know, popped up and then started fighting with each other, killing even more people. So, you never know. Same with um, North Korea, you know, maybe there is something happening there that there is a need for, for this. You know what, in the universe I've learned, everything is needed, because if it's not, it disappears or changes, transforms. So, consider that whatever evil you see in the world around you, it's necessary. For some reason that you don't know, I don't know, but when you remove it, you might actually regret it. So it's better when you, when you handle evil, whether it's with other people and yourself, think about why do I have this evil? What, what's, how is it serving me? How is it serving the world? So don't beat yourself up because you hurt someone, you did something stupid, because it serves you and other people. And obviously it's no good to hurt other people. I'm not saying to go and hurt other people, but don't beat yourself up, just think, where are the benefits of me being evil? And just be <sighs> Don't be afraid of being evil. So really, sometimes, I sometimes kind of um, play an evil person and think about evil things, because I know if I do that, I, I have more peace of mind and balance, because I allow my evil to, to come out. And I suggest that you do the same. Have peace of mind, get your evil out in a controlled way, rather than... Uh, suppress it and then the evil explodes when you can't control it, you know. Do some controlled outbursts of evil when you actually control it and you can control the damage that you're doing. Um, much, much better and wiser. So, I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching guys uh, and thank you for subscribing and sharing it with, with other people and uh, 
I will respond to your comments as much as I can. Don't take it personally if I don't. Sometimes there are technical problems or I'm busy, but I will respond to most of the comments. Thank you very much for watching and be evil tonight or today.